Okay, this is the Always Bro 1 Chapter 1 review video. Here we go. Um, so first, question one is just solving equations. Uh, the goal of getting the variable by itself. So in the first one here, we can move that one over. So minus one, minus one, five equals negative x. And then to turn that negative into a positive, we can divide by negative one both sides, and we will get negative 5 equals x, okay? All right, question B. Okay, this one is a little more challenging. We have a dis some distribution, so we're going to distribute this negative 4 to the 2y and the 6. So we get negative 8y minus 24 minus 12 equals 4. We'll simplify this, negative 8y minus 36 equals 4. We'll add the 36, both sides. Negative 8y equals 40. Divide both sides by negative 8, negative 8. So y equals negative 5. C. We have another distribution. We have three halves times x. Three halves is negative two. Uh, minus five equals nineteen. We're going to distribute this first. Three halves c x. Three halves the negative two. So we get three halves x. Two times three halves is just three. So this is minus three. Minus five equals nineteen. Let's combine these. Uh, so that's mm, three halves x minus 8 equals 19. We'll add the 8 both sides. So we'll have 3 halves x equals uh, 27. Then to get rid of that 3 halves, um, we can multiply by 2 thirds to both sides. 2 thirds left, 2 thirds on the right. Now we have x equals uh, well, 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Okay. Questions? Okay. D, 3n minus 3 equals 4n plus 1. We've got variables on both sides. Okay. So we want to get it on one side, so I'm going to move that 3n over it to, to the right, minus 3n, minus 3n. And at the same time, I can move that 1 over to the left, so we'll do minus 1, minus 1. So we'll get negative 4 equals n. E. So we're going to distribute here. We have 5x plus 5 equals 5x plus 5. So here's here's where we are here. Notice that both is the same on both sides, right? So if I subtract 5, subtract 5, we get 5x equals 5x, or, you know, 0 equals 0. So in this case, when, we, when both sides of the equation are the same, this is infinite solutions. Make sure you write that. When it's the same on both sides, infinitely many solutions. F. Uh, let's write it out. We have 3y plus 12 equals 3y plus 2. Um, let's subtract 12 from both sides. We get and we get 3y equals 3y minus 10. Something doesn't look right here. Minus 3y, minus 3y, both sides. We have 0 equals negative 10. This is no solution. So make sure you know the difference. When it's the same on both sides, it's infinitely many. When it's not possible, the equation isn't possible, right? It is no solution. Okay? 
All right, number two. Given that the sum of angles in the following pentagon is 540 degrees, set up a linear equation and find the value of x. So this question is similar to a quiz question. Um, so sum, you have to know some vocabulary here. So sum means like the added total. This is the added total, right? Sum means addition. So this the added total, meaning, meaning if we add all these up, on the inside here, that's going to be 540 degrees. Okay, so 540 is going to equal x plus x minus 30, right? Plus x plus another x minus 30 plus x minus 30. You see that? So 540 is the total is this x plus x minus 30 plus x plus x minus 30 plus x minus 30. Okay, so then we combine all this together, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x, and then we have minus 30, minus 30, minus 30, so it's minus 90 equals 540. We're gonna add the 90, and we'll get 630, equals 5x, where I think that's, do, do, do. 65, I think 63, let's check that, 630 divided by 5, so there's 66, hang on, let's see here, 630 divided by 5 is 126. A little off there. X equals 126. Okay. You can use a calculator for that. Okay. This is divided by 5 divided by 5. Okay. All right. Here we have another word problem. Let's take some time. You want to paint a piece of pottery at an art studio. The total cost of the piece plus an hourly studio fee. There are two studios to choose from after how many hours of painting are the total costs the same at both studios justify your answer by setting up appropriate equations so you want to pay a piece of art in our studio the total cost is the cost of a piece cost of the piece plus an hourly fee okay so that indicates to me like sort of a per right this is like a per hour situation there are two studios after how many hours of painting are the total cost the same both studios so the first studio is going to cost me ten dollars for the vase so ten plus eight dollars per hour ten plus eight h right so it's a so your base cost plus your hourly cost and i want to set that equal to this base cost 16 plus the hourly cost, 6H, okay? So you gotta kinda figure out, okay, which one is, which one's the variable and which one's the uh, the fixed cost, or like the, the constant. So in this case, you're only doing one piece, right? There's only one vase, so there's only one $10 fee, right? You're not doing multiple vases. We're, we're painting one piece of pottery, right? Same thing here, one piece, so one vase, but you're spending multiple hours, right? And the question is also how many hours of painting Right, so that kind of indicates to you, oh, we're solving for H. We're going to solve for hours. That's the variable here. Okay. All right, let's solve this now. So we'll do minus 10, minus 10, minus 6H, minus 6H. And we'll get 2H equals 6, so H equals 3. So the answer would be after three hours... the total cost is the same. Okay. <clears throat> All right, back page. So here we are doing, these are absolute value equations. So you want to make sure the absolute value is by itself first. 
then you set two equations, one to a positive, one to a negative. We solve them and then we test them to make sure they work. So here we have y plus 3 equals 17 and y plus 3 equals negative 17. And I can do this because it, it's already by itself, right? We'll solve this. This is y equals 14 minus 3 minus 3. And this is y equals negative 20. So when I plug these back into the original, I get the absolute value of 14 plus 3 equals 17. That is true. And I get the absolute value of negative 20 plus 3 equals 17, which means that absolute value of negative 17 equals 17, and that is also true, right? Because when we have absolute value, you make it positive. So these are my solutions here. Okay. So B, similar, but we have to take some steps to get it in the same, to look like this one. So we're going to, we're going to minus 9 both sides. So we'll have negative 2, 5, W minus 7. <coughs> Um, equals negative 16. Then we'll divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, and we'll have 8 equals 5w minus 7. Okay? And then I can set up my two equations. So 5w minus 7 equals 8, and 5w minus 7 equals negative 8. So then 5w equals 15, w equals 3, um, 5w equals negative 1, and w equals negative 1 fifth, right? Just added 7 there, both sides, and divide by 5, both sides, okay? And just to make sure they work, we can plug them back in here. So we have 15 minus 7, that is 8. And then we have negative one fifth goes in. We'll have negative eight. The absolute value of negative eight is eight. So both of these work. So we're good. Okay. Last one here. Same thing. We're going to set up two equations. We're going to have. I'm going to kind of make a separate these out a bit. We're going to have x minus two equals four plus two x, and then we're going to have x minus two equals negative four minus 2x. So when you turn this negative, right, what you're doing is negative 4 plus 2x. You've got to distribute the negative to everything here. So it becomes negative 4 minus 2x. That's what's going in right there. So here we have x. Um, let's solve this here. So we're going to get, we'll do minus 4 minus 4 minus x minus x. Negative 6 equals uh, x. That's one of my solutions. And then here we'll have 3x equals negative 2, so x equals negative 2 thirds. Okay, then when you plug it back in to this here, we're going to have uh, when negative 6 goes in, it's going to be negative 6 minus 2 is, ne is negative 8, but that's 8. Uh, this is not going to work. You can see that, right? Uh, I'll show you. Um, look negative 6 minus 2 equals 4 plus 2 times negative 6. Negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8, so this is just an 8 right here because it becomes positive. Then 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 4 is negative 8. This is saying that negative 8 equals 8. That's not true. So this answer here is extraneous, not a solution. So let's try negative 2 thirds. Negative 2 thirds minus 2 uh, equals 4 plus 2 times negative 2 thirds. This is. So the light just went off in the room. Alright, we'll stick with this. So negative 2 thirds minus 2, this is the same as negative 2 thirds minus 6 thirds, which is negative. 8 thirds, but it's absolute value, so it's just 8 thirds. And then over here on the right, this is uh, 4, so that's 12 thirds minus 4 thirds. 
which is 8 thirds. So this is true. So my one solution is just this one. Okay. I'm trying to light back on. There we go. All right. We have some literal equations. Literal. And then we have a little word problem at the end. So solve the literal, literal equation for y. 2x minus 15 minus 4y equals 5. So we want to get y alone. So let's add the 4y here. That's minus 5 here. We're going to get 2x uh, minus 20 equals 4y. And then we'll divide everything by 4. And so we'll get 1 half x minus 5 equals y. Okay. B is a little more challenging. Notice how we have y in two places here. If you see y in two different variables, that means you have to factor it out. So we're going to have c equals y, parentheses, 9 plus 3x. And then we will divide both sides by 9 plus 3x. 9 plus 3x. So y equals c over 9 plus 3x. OK, last one. The volume of a pyramid is given by this formula, b equals one-third bh, where b is the base and h is the height. Solve the formula for h. So that just means get h alone. So we have v equals one-third bh. I can get h alone by dividing both sides by b. Right? That'll cancel that. So we'll have v over b equals one-third h. And then to get rid of that one third, I can multiply both sides by three. Three on the left, three on the right. That'll cancel. So the answer is three V over B equals H. Okay. Find the height of the pyramid shown using the formula from part A. So here it gives me a V and it gives me a B. So all I have to do is plug these into this and it'll give me H. So it'll be three times two sixteen over 36. I'm going to use a calculator for this one. Let's see here. We're going to have 3 times 216. Divide that by 36. And the other is 18. So 18 equals H. And we are done, guys. Okay. So to review, use this to help you. Use the practice test. Try and do it without looking at the video. Um, and then uh, I would do more delta, do the optional delta, and come ready with a pen and a calculator or a pencil on Thursday. Good luck, guys.